back-to-back -back state championships. Maybe, hopefully, for the <laughs> Orland High School football team. That's what they're aiming for in this postseason. And sports director Josh Middleman joins us now to talk about the Trojans football. So uh, a nice showing, though, at least for the semifinals right now. Oh, my goodness gracious. They had uh, both – all the games were competitive except for the least, least that I saw. 42 to 6, uh, Orland beating that, uh, as everyone knows by now, I'm, I'm sure, beating a very tough Gridley squad. Standing in the way of Orland in a second straight section championship, the Red Hot Lass and Grizzlies. Many expected Orland to win Friday, last Friday, and then travel to U Prep for the title game, but Lassen had other plans, including uh, Friday's win. The Grizzlies have reeled off six straight victories. The Trojans, meantime, enter Saturday night's contest, winners of 10 in a row. We're not talking about last year's 15-0 season. Playing without all everything back, Jaime Alboron, Orla nonetheless dominated Gridley in those semifinals, as we mentioned. Many expecting Orland to win this section again, but Coach Nick, Nick Velasquez trying to keep the pressure off and sounding a message of being grateful. Like I was telling the kids last week, don't don't lose sight of you know the fact that not everybody gets to practice on Thanksgiving, you know, um, and and it's pretty special, you know, and um, it's just one of those things that, you know, it just doesn't come around all the time. You know, I've been coaching for what 16 years. I I think this is my fourth time, uh, and for a long period, I I didn't see Thanksgiving practice at all. <laughs> so, you know, when, when you, you know, it, it's a very humbling game, you know, so right now it's like, hey, you know, this is pretty cool what we're doing. And just a quick note, I know it's not an NFL injury list. These are high school players, but Jaime Alboron, whom we've uh, profiled before, he's been out a couple weeks. He's a star uh, on that team. He's expected to play on Saturday night. So I hope that he does. I hope he's healthy and we'll see what happens.